Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight we're up the Oco Hills and tonight's a special night because the local Wallace Monument has been lit up in all blue colours and that's to celebrate the local Strathcairn Hospice 40th anniversary. So what I'm trying to do is look for a nice viewpoint where we can try and get a nice elevated position above the monument if we're lucky, maybe get a sunset opportunity. And uh, I'll keep walking till I find a good spot. And then I'll turn the camera on and then you can join me. And then you can start to share in what I can see. So join me in my journey. And let's see where it takes us tonight. hills, the sun's setting behind me, but what I thought I'd try and do first before I start taking shots of the monument is the Firth of Forth snakes its way all the way through Stirling and then it reaches the Firth at Grangemouth and Concarden and then you can see, you might not be able to see for that wee camera, the tower at Longanet Power Station and then further down the Firth of Forth you can see the Forth bridges over at Edinburgh. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick composition. Um, this is a this is a 105 mil lens. So what I'll pro what I will do is put on my longer lens uh, later on. But first of all, I'm just going to focus in on the first. I'll take a couple of sunset shots. I'll see if I can zoom in further. I do a couple of brackets. It's actually quite windy, so hopefully that's not interfering with the microphone. So now what I'll do is I'll take a shot of the monument with this lens before I actually change over to the longer lens because I've got a nice composition here I've got the Wallace monument and then in the background I've got Stirling Castle so I'm hoping that that actually turns out to be quite a nice shot um, I'm just going to lower the camera a little bit because I don't want too much horizon in the shot. I just want enough. So from where I'm standing, I've got quite an amazing viewpoint. So I've got Wallace Monument. I've got Stirling Castle. I've got Causeway Head. I've got Stirling University. I've got Earthry Castle. I've got Witches Craig. Caravan Park and I've got Cambus Kenner Abbey so it's a fantastic uh, viewpoint I've never actually been here before so I just thought I'd take a wander up tonight have a look have a scout around I found this little cove area beside the mountain that's a bit of shelter for the wind although it is still pretty windy um, and now what I'll do is I'll move the camera and then you can start to see what I'm taking photographs of. So 
So this is my viewpoint. Um, over on the left, that that, mo that um, building that looks like a candle is the Wallace Monument. On the far right of the Wallace Monument is Stirling Castle. So what I'll do is I'll just change this composition a bit. Because what I want to try and do is zoom in and try and get as much of the castle and the monument in together. And then I'll focus in on the monument. I just hope the wind isn't going to shake this too much. What I did, what I thought I might have got was a position here on the mountains where I would be right behind the monument and the sun would be setting behind the monument, but that's actually not the case. I'd need to be way further out into the middle of the cars to get that view. But we'll make the most of it because as the sun, as the sun sets, the sky will get pinkier and oranger and bluer. And then when they turn the lights on in the monument, I'm hoping that we'll get a really nice shot of a, a bright blue Wallace monument. Okay, so what I think I'll do now is I'm just going to change lenses. I'll put the big lens on and then we'll be able to get some close-ups of the cars, some close-ups of the first and the fourth, fourth and the fourth. And if we're lucky, we might even get a shot of the fourth bridges and then the sun, the sun should be down in about 20 minutes. So I've put my long lens on now. I've taken some shots of the cars and the first of the fourth. The sun's setting now the monument's starting to get lit up quite nicely. I've taken a couple of shots. Um, one tip for anybody that probably doesn't know, but I'm sure I'm the only person that's forgotten to do this. I left the house and it was warm. It was sunny. I'm halfway up a mountain and it's, as the sun goes away, <laughs> it's turned really cold. I've left my hat in the house. I've left my gloves in the house and it's uh, freezing. So what I'll do is I'll turn the camera off just now to save the battery because the wind is cutting standing here and uh, there's some nice oranges and magentas coming through for the right hand side. So I'm hoping that we don't have to wait too long for the monument to be lit up um, and hopefully be resplendent in blue. camera a bit behind me to try and give it a wee bit more protection for the wind but while I'm here what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the monument and what I want to try and do is get a close-up of the monument and the castle I'll just focus just now make sure I've got my focus right what I might well you'll see the photograph anyway so again, there's probably not going to be a huge amount of photographs tonight because the whole purpose of being here was to get a shot of the monument all lit up. Um, but there, there may be some nice shots from the cars and the first of the fourth. And there's some nice light hitting the monument now. That's actually really nice. starting to look really nice. There's a nice orange glow coming over um, from the west. So what I might do is a quick bracket shot here. And I'll share with you the photographs that I'm taking as I'm going along. The sun's now really closing in. The mountain behind me, well, when I say mountain, it's a hill called the Mayat. 
the sun's edging its way up, so the sun's really setting low now. We're now starting to get a real orange glow on the monument. The sun's due to set at half past eight in 10 minutes. What I don't know is what time are they actually turning the lights on in the monument. I'm quite a bit away from the car. Um, it's quite a lot of hilly terrain that I've walked over to get here. Should be okay, because my eyes will adjust to the darkness. Um, but yeah, let's. I'll turn the camera back on when we're closer to getting some nice images um, as the sun's reducing. And hopefully that small camera can pick up the, the blue lights as the Wallace Monument gets illuminated. I'm not actually quite sure if the small camera can pick this up, it's starting to get quite dark. The, wall, the monument is lit up in blue. Um, you're not going to see it for there because it's, too, it's starting to get really dark and that camera's kind of too far away. Um, what I'll do is I'll just keep standing here and take in photos and I'll share the photos in the video. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Remember and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and it's free. And you can press the bell notification and that will prompt you when I publish future videos. So thanks for joining me and here's to the next video.